Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm so excited to bring y'all the Zara Fashion Haul Try On. Zara is one of my favorite stores to visit. The nearest one to my home is about two and a half hours, but every time I'm in that area, I go to Zara. Sometimes I shop on the site, but I prefer to shop in store because of my shape, I'm very curvy. But um, these items that I have y'all is anything but basic, your basic white tees and this and that uh, from Zara, your color tees. This is a more dressier items. These are more dressy items, but perfect for fall and winter. So I'm ready to show these trends to y'all and try them on and see what you think. So the first item I have, first, let's look at this bag. I also got the brown and white, you know, traditional kind of tan bag. But I also got this one for my items that were hanging up. They're not on hangers now. I took them off and tried them on everything, but I love the bag. Definitely keeping it. So let's see, the first item I have, I should have put it on a hanger or something, is this leather blazer. This leather cognac type of blazer, y'all, is so many things I can do with, which I'm gonna try on and show you. But it has the gold buttons and also the gold buttons on the sleeve. Now this leather blazer, was a hundred and nineteen dollars and I got an extra large. I'm usually like an extra large or large in Zara. Next item is these wide leg pants. They have a little stretch to them so that makes it doable for me and the wallet at the bottom with the unfinished edges or unfinished hem at the bottom of them as well so these cost 49.90 next is this blazer they had all types of little blazers in there y'all they were so cute a red one um this color this color and some more colors but I really love the prop type of structure blazer look. And the buttons on here are like a bronzy color, if you can see. Not bronze. And this blazer costs $69.90. I told y'all, these are items that you just have to dress up and just go out. You can even wear some to work. Okay. Y'all, I love this knit skirt. And it has the fringe at the bottom. That's so cute. Let me give you a close up of this knit skirt. And it's very stretchy. I was able to get a small in this because it's so stretchy and I wanted it to fit. I didn't want it to be loose. Next is, oh, yeah, this leather jumper dress is so cute. It has the suspenders, the slit, the buttons, and the belt. So I'm going to say this lasts a trial. It fits so cute, y'all. Yeah. And the last item is this white, okay, this is kind of basic, y'all, but it's white turtleneck grip sleeveless shirt. So I did get one type of basic item, and this is it. So what I'm going to do is go try on all these items and show you or give some tips on how to wear each item, and I will return. But before I go, I also want to mention I got this belt that I currently have on from Zara the same day I purchased those items. And I think this belt was about um, $25.99 or $24.99. And this top right here was $25. So let's try on these looks. Okay, the first look is the French skirt. Uh, not French, but knit skirt with the real white top and big belt. And also have on my Kanye suede boots with it. Now you can do a light leather boot or 
a boot around this cover with a little kitty here. I've been seeing some of those in Zara as well. They didn't have any in my size, but this is great for, um, it's giving me that um, throwback kind of feminine look when I wear it. I love it. I just, um, the skirt fits well. It moves well when I walk. The fringe is bouncing up and down when I walk in it. Uh, I'm moving side to side. But it makes you feel really girly in this outfit. I mean, you, and then you can use it for a different number of occasions. So this is definitely a yes. Come close so you can see. See, it's knit, but it's not see-through knit. It's not that thin see-through knit. It's a very great um, material. And the stripes and a different color hides it a lot as well, too. So, yeah. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Next, we have the wide leg jeans with a blight type of um, sweater top I have on. Um, the wide leg jeans I also have on black leather boots with it. Um, these are really comfortable. I think I got these in a the size 12. So this is the type of top, type of top I have on and with the jeans. And I'm also going to do my vintage 1980s purse with this look. Um, yeah. They kind of give you the mom jean type of feel at the top. They're definitely high rise, which I prefer. And they have a little stretch to them. Somebody's knocking on my door. It was something I ordered. Anyway, so they have a stretch to them, like I mentioned before. Now these could be dressed up or down. Um, this is about as much as I would dress these up for me with a black top, um, black boots with a little heel. But you can dress them down with something like a little white t-shirt and some tennis shoes or um, a little collar shirt and some tennis shoes. But I prefer to, prefer to wear them just like this. And so y'all let me know what y'all think of this look as well. They have pockets. In the comments, let me know what y'all think of this look. And let's go into the next one. Now this is exactly how I will pull off this short crop jacket. I love the idea of mixing the tweed fabric with the leather. It just, not everybody would do it, but I definitely would. I just love that look of it. And I would definitely keep the tights included just to pull off that all black uniform look uh, with the black boots, black tights, black skirt, black top with the um, colorful jacket, or with the bright color jacket, I should say. Now this skirt comes from Zara as well. I got this last year from Zara, but um, yeah, any type of mini skirt would do with this. It doesn't have to necessarily be leather and it doesn't necessarily have to be pleated. It could be a tight fitted skirt that you can pull off this look with. Now you can also wear this jacket with um, a pair of jeans or, um, and some boots or pumps or something like that. Um, but I just feel like this is more of a preppy type of look going on when, I, when you wear with a pleated skirt. I just feel like a valet is gonna come out of nowhere and say, Mrs. Sloan, your rose is ready. And I just step into my Rose Wars car and pull off. But yeah, this is how the jacket makes me feel. It just makes me feel like money. I really like it. Um, but let me know what you all think in the comments of this particular look. Skirt and the jacket. Yeah, on to the next one. Now this is a, one way you can pull off this leather type of blazer look, a trying without trying type of look, white t-shirt, jeans, some boots, um, just a plain white tee, open jacket look, cognac suede boot, so you can do a leather boot with it. You could even do an over the knee boot. boot. Um, but yeah, this is that just casual type of, I'm going to brunch, it's cold outside, but you know, I still want to look cute. Look with this blazer. So let me, let me know what you think of this look in the comments as well. Now this is my favorite piece out of everything that I've brought. I don't know what it is with me and leather. If you don't know by now, if you watched my last video and this video, I have a slight obsession with leather, like, oh, I love it. But this is, it's so sexy, it's so feminine, and you can wear it different type of ways. This is more like your corporate type of office look, um, or um, some type of um, professional type of 
invent this is what you want to pair with it now the shirt is uh, almost like a satin type of shirt with a puffy sleeve so it's satin and leather works well together i really wanted a shirt that has you know the, the big bow coming down like that i don't have one on hand but um zara did have one in the store but it just was too small for me um but that's the type of look I imagine going with it when I picked it up and I was looking. I just immediately wanted a big bow or something coming down here to make a statement. But, um, yeah, it has buttons and this belt and then the back of it, crisscross. So that's so cute. The details on this is so cute. And it has the slit. So, you know, when you pose it for your pictures, you can put a little leg out and make it work. Uh, black leather boots but I don't have on the leather boots I would actually wear with it because I don't have them on hand as soon as I went shopping for this for these outfits I brought boots and whatever shoes I needed so I don't have none of the boots that I actually want to wear on hand with everything I want with everything I got but um excuse me but yeah this is a one way I would definitely wear it um it's so cute I love it and let me know what y'all think of this look and I'm gonna show you a different way to wear as well now another way you can wear this is just with a black sheer top. Uh, if you're at a, if you're going somewhere where it's, um, you don't have to have a professional outfit on, something like this, but you still want to make a statement, you still want to be cute, um, something like this will work. Um, just a black see-through top. This one has polka dots on it. Just a black see-through top with a black bra underneath it. You know, you want to completely black it out. Um, and what I like the most about this, you can kind of transform the outfit. So if you want to wear your suspenders down and pull the skirt down just a little, it's like you got a high waist skirt with suspenders on. Um, you can cut these little hanger things off of it and you have completely kind of transformed the look. Um, so yeah, this skirt is very versatile as far as how you can wear it and where you can wear it. Again, it's one of my favorite pieces. And um, I don't know if I said before, this skirt was $69.90, but it's well worth it. And I think it's a very good price for this type of skirt as well. But Leah, let me know what you think about this one as well in the comments, y'all. So I hope y'all enjoyed this try on just as much as I did. Please let me know in the comments which was your favorite look or how you would wear one of those looks. Also, like and subscribe if you want to continue to see content like this. I love fashion, so I'll be doing more videos on fashion. Um, just see what the journey takes me. Also, um, if you want to stay up to date or if you want tips on business credit and crypto investing, Follow my Instagram. My handle will be below at Shamara Sloan. Me and my husband give tips on crypto investing and I give tips on business credit building. And till next time, thank you. Bye.